Hey Striders, it's Bob Gar. I'm playing some Kiki Combo in Modern, seeing what I can do on $10, which is feeling like not very much so far, but it's still pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to keep this, even though it's a little wonky, but all the spells are cheap. Um, <laughs> this would be the first time I'm not getting turn 1 thought seized in the last three matches, I think, if, if I don't get turn 1 thought seized here. Maybe that's not quite fair. I guess it might have been a couple. What are we playing against? Mistrail Plains. Interesting. Uh, could be a couple things. Oh, I like Is It Signet. I really want an untapped land. Okay, I'm not going to be able to play Is It Signet next turn. I also like Mana Lake quite a bit. I'll take Signet. I need, I need some. Hopefully I get a normal land next turn. Oh, I should forget to say, hello! Good luck! Pass turn. Sure. I guess that does make the is it signet worse? Well, I'm going to sleight of hand. Yes, thank goodness. Get a mountain. For sure. Find a mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, I hold up vault. Gotta play something eventually. Is this just a enchantress deck or something? Oh, it must be an enchantress deck. Interesting. Very interesting. So this could be bad. Um, I'm not going to bother playing anything here. Um, this is a mana ability, so it should not cost any extra to activate. So I think I'm okay to do... Is it Signet? Then land hold up mana leak. Feels fine to me. Yeah, or hold up is a charm too, either way. Sure, you can gain a life. Sounds pretty good. I'm not a big fan of playing Nyx Fleece in the uh, enchantment lock decks. I know it gains you a life a turn, but it's never seemed that powerful to me. He's doing nothing. I could draw to discard to. I'm not sure it's worth it here, though. I think I'll just pass. Um, wish I had more to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But yeah, I, I, I can do this, so I will. Bounce. Not in hand. Pass turn, and now at the end of his turn. Um, if you play something, I'll, I might mana leak it, or is it charm it, depending on what it is. But if he doesn't play anything useful, I'll just exarch at the end of his turn. Which also feels pretty good. This game is going better than the last one, I guess. He does nothing. Seaver exarch. down. I guess I'll just tap his creature. I'm not that worried about a enchantment deck doing stuff at instant speed. Maybe I should be. Maybe it's some kind of secret, not actually enchantment deck, enchantment deck, but... Well, on the bright side, now, if I draw my Frost Titan, I'll have mana to pay for him. Um, drawing a little heavy on creature... Um, uh, drawing a little heavy on stuff, though, but it's fine. If I draw a Kiki Jiki, I probably just win. Cause these decks usually don't have good instant speed interaction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't even have enough to counterspell. Do I want to counterspell this? I don't actually really care about this, although I do have counterspells up the. Yeah, I think I just let this resolve. I don't actually care about it. Sure. If it was like my last one, it'd be one thing, but I have uh, three of these things, so I feel like that's just goes to end step.
helicopter guy. Well, that's unfortunate. More mana. Uh, actually, I probably should have held on to it um, and used it as discard fodder for is it charm? Now that I think about it, I was playing a little little too fast and loose there. I might end of turn is it charm anyway. I mean, it's either that or Seaver Exarch again. We'll see what I want to do. going for it. He's playing something. Ghostly Prison. Man, do I mana leak it? Do I, is it charm? The advantage of mana leaking it is then I'd have, is, I think I is a charm. I think there's too many other things you can play that are scary. Last spell is what does this one do? Chain creature, chain creature can't attack or block unless its controller pays three. Sure, that's fine. That one does not bother me at all. I uh, will play another Exarch. Uh, tap target pyramid. I'll tap this one down again. I did get another Is It Charm. Uh, draw 2, discard 2 doesn't sound bad, but I think I'd rather do it at the end of my turn at least. At the end of my opponent's turn, rather. So I could attack with this and pay 3. I'd still have 1, two, one two, 3, 4, 5 up. Seems worth it. Something weird is going on. Okay, before I do this, one, two. Oh, I see. I guess I can just do it like this. I guess that's fine. It's really not a big deal. I'm, I'm obsessing over it for no reason. It's a little annoying that it makes me do that, though. Sure, you go to 20. I got you, got you down pretty low now. Um, I feel pretty good having both Is It Charm and Mana Leak up. He gets to scry. He must be playing red for something. That's interesting. I wonder if he plays uh, Assemble the Legion or something. I love that card. So bad, but I love it. I try to play it a lot, and just never can, I can never get it to work. <laughs> and Halo. Um, I think that gets a mana leak. Because he's going to name Deceiver Exarch, and then I have a lot less outs. I mean, it still doesn't beat me. It just makes my life a lot harder, right? Draw two, discard two is actually worth it there. Yep. Uh, one, two, one. There we go. I don't quite get it, but I'll take it. I think it's trying to pay smartly, and there's just a kind of like a little bug in how it pays. Okay, sure. So he's neutral on that. Yeah, I think I, I think I draw two, discard two, because I don't really care about either of these, and I might care about other things. I get less, but uh, well, actually, it depends what he plays here, I guess, because I might have to counter this. It has red in it. No, it doesn't. 
Just wait. Oh, now it has red. Sphere of safety. Okay. The slowest game ever. This one's got to be a little boring to watch. I really need my opponent to, uh, or I really need to draw something to keep my opponent. Drawing. I'll just tap that down. Maybe I should have tapped his only red source, but like on his next upkeep or something. I think, I think this is fine. Land. I don't actually even think I play it here. No real reason to, and I might draw another Is a Charm and use it as discard fodder. Um. Well, it's not looking so good for me. Um, I was feeling pretty good in this game, but yeah, I've drawn about a third through my deck and just haven't found the Kikijiki, which means my game's gonna be very hard. Oh, Helioid. That doesn't actually scare me too much. It is a 5-6, though, so it does kill me pretty quick. Well, this is a good one. Draw two cards, discard two cards. I guess I could have held it for... Uh, discard the two lands. Um, draw two cards, discard two cards. Frost Titan down next turn at least. One, two, three, four. Yeah, not not this turn though. So this turn I just pass. So I have to hope he doesn't draw anything good. If he doesn't draw anything good now, I'm in okay shape. I really need to dodge the um, Ghostly Prison. That's the one I need. Dodge. Although, even Ghostly Pigeon doesn't totally wreck me. Sewer Safety wrecks me pretty hard. Is that what he has here? I think, uh, if he plays th Sphere, I think I probably just lose. Or maybe he's just making tokens off of Heliod. Oh, nope. He's t using Feast Fetters to take away some of my mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have plenty of mana, though, still. So that's, that's fine. Okay, I take 5 from Heliod here. Seems fine. Draw. Oh, hey, there's my buddy. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you have to pay two for it. Shoot. Uh, it doesn't, you can't pay two that way? Wait, what? Pay two. I do it? No. We hit cancel. Tap. That's two mana. Tap. Tap down. Uh, <laughs> this one. So I think I did this a little wrong. That's fine. I didn't realize that the uh, suppression field would take that offline. I still think if he doesn't play... So I can use this one to block, and I can use this to tap down, like, Helioid and things like that. Yeah, so Frost Titan was definitely a better play there. I just wasn't thinking. Oh, just another ram. That's fine. That's fine. A little too much mana. I mean, I can still copy a bunch of things and tap down a bunch of things. Um, I should use this while I can. Six, and so I can use. I can have one activation of Kiki also. Um. I'll tap down. 
Let's tap this land here. Just take you off red in case it's useful to you, which I don't really know if it is. this. I shouldn't have done it with that. I don't know why I didn't do that on Frost Titan. It seems silly. I should have done it with Frost Titan last turn and attacked last turn. That was very silly of me. Alright, well, I'm playing under, I'm playing subpar, but we'll see. If he doesn't, I still might have a chance if he doesn't draw. Well, Nykthos is a lot of mana. What does he have here? One, two, three, four, five mana out of three, so it's not actually that big a boost. Enduring Ideal? Is this an Enduring Ideal deck? Oh, well, Phyrexian on life, that's fine. Why didn't he play that first and he could have made more mana total? Oh, he just makes a token. Sure, that's fine. Maybe I should just tap down. I'll tap down Nykthos. If he wants to block me with all his creatures, that seems fine. Flying and tap Jiki. Yes. One, two. I will tap down. thought. Sure. I can't block the flying one anyway, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I want to play Seagate Oracle? It might just be better to say... Tap this. 
Jesus. I guess I'm not gonna have enough to deboot. I cancel for a second. One, two. Might as well do it one more time. Okay. Yes. And copy that. Probably shouldn't it block anyway, so I think instead I'll just lock down Nykthos and lock down another land. If he wants to chump block one of the Titans, that's fine. It does, but it doesn't matter because he's just going to go to negative a bunch anyway. So that's actually, yeah, he shouldn't bother. That's not how it works, but maybe he doesn't know how it works. He's two mana for something. I don't even know what he's doing. Okay, he passes. Negative 16. I, I did way more than I needed to. Oh, I need to click them to put them on the stack. My fault. Now, this is a weird long grindy game. Suppression Field is actually very good against this deck, I guess. I guess I should board in Echoing Truth to stop that. I think that's really the only thing I have to, to counter it once it hits the board, unfortunately. Does he beat me this turn? He goes up to only negative 14 life! <laughs> and Halo, sure. Protection from what? If it's Frost Titan, I think he just loses next turn, doesn't he? And also, all that means is Frost Titan can't do damage. I think he should have chosen Pestermite, because Frost Titan, he had a chance to block on the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think I just uh, just do it again. Um, there's really no reason to untap him at this point, so I guess I just tap down something else.
you're 10 poison to him in the air, so I don't think it matters what he does here. Sure. Sure, that's fine. I win. Good game. Alright. Um, this gives him some birds, but... Uh, countering enchantments for one is probably worth it. This is probably worth it. The gate's probably worth it. Um, Frost Titan did seem good. Zealous Conscripts is interesting because it can give me copy. Yeah, it's probably worth it to stop some things. I'm actually going to go down some Deceiver Exarchs because his removals aren't particularly good against them. Uh, Lightning Bolt seems very weak against this deck. Let me just go down to Mana Leak since the Negates are just better in this matchup by a lot. Um, I guess we run it like that. Is there anything else I want to get rid of? I could run Ghost Quarters to get rid of his um, Nykthos. Not sure it's worth it. Oh, Echoing Truth could be worth it to get stuff off the board too. Um, I don't know if it's worth it or not. I, it probably is because it bounces some things that would allow me to win the game. Um, although, Zilla's Conscript, I have some other answers to those too. I don't want to go down too late on these. I'm going to cut into Oracle, I guess. Oracle does seem pretty medium. I think this is a keep. A little slow. It doesn't do everything I want, but you know, I'll get Frost Titan eventually. Assuming he doesn't just flaunt me out of the game before then. <laughs> the fact that I have a play to stop a turn two play is pretty nice. Well, a little much of that, but I guess I mean, it's kind of nice because I do like the Signets. I mean, maybe he doesn't run anything red, maybe he just runs these for the scry. He does seem to be getting a lot of scries. Sure. No plays. Man is attempting to jam Signet here, but I think I want to keep up Spell Pierce just in case he plays anything that's too undesirable. That I'm okay with. That actually doesn't affect me too badly. I'm not going to bother countering that because I'd rather. Oh, well, that's actually that's fine though. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but I don't don't actually need it. But I'm glad I left my blue open. <laughs> Spell Pierce that. It's a little too annoying for me. I guess I should have waited until after the extort was gone. Not that it super matters. He'll probably extort here because I don't think he has anything else to play. Pestermite and then Seagate Oracle if I want, or I can, so I can't Pestermite and Seagate Oracle. I, I can't Seagate Oracle now and then Pestermite on his upkeep to tap something down. So that's not very valuable. I could I think I Seagate Oracle here no matter what, and then I guess I just put it in the other Signet and then next turn I can Frost Titan, which is nice. I will take Kiki Jinky. Well, now I wish I had played Pestermite. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's 
it's very the the signets are acting very strange right now. It comes into play tap, but it's not significant. Um, if he has, well, that's not good for me, but it doesn't make a whole lot of mana now. Um, Straight of safety is pretty bad for me because it means I have to draw one of my one of the cards I just don't have that many of. It's actually not bad, that buys him an extra turn at least. Don't know if I need to tap down Nykthos here or not. More land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, my options are play Frost Titan, which does feel pretty good. It takes him off of Nykthos. Or play Pester my end of his turn, play Kiki Jiki my turn. Which also feels pretty good. I think I'm gonna go that route and hope I don't get blown out by something. Or maybe I play. I'm gonna play Pester my. Oh, if I don't, the problem is, if I don't play Pester my on his end of turn, he can use his. Uh, Sorcery speed removal to get rid of it, so I don't think I want to do that. Same with Frost Titan, really. Like, if I play Frost Titan now, he probably just has a removal spell for it. Ram, sure. If that's all he has, I feel pretty good. He is down to two cards. He has something else. Second Frexion on life. Well, that's not bad, but not super relevant, just because he already has one. Sure. Right, the Kiki Jiki will come into play tapped. That's probably fine. Maybe I just Frost Titan for that reason to take him off of massive mana. Well, the Kiki Jiki will never turn on if I to put him out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not enough to do both, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I think I Kiki Jiki here. That's fine. I should have uh, Frost Titan the last turn because I could have done both Kiki Jiki and this this turn, so that was silly of me. Well, he's buying himself a lot of time with the Blind Obedience plus Frexion in life. Oblivion Ring on Kiki Jiki? Probably. Could be Pester Might either way. Yep. I guess the thing that Blind Obedience does do is it opens you up to the instant speed of than usual. That's totally fine. Okay. Well, now I have it. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Tap down this. Now I need something pretty good to really stop me. Plus, I have Negate back up. I'm feeling a lot better. I don't know why I didn't block there. It's a little weird. I'm sorry, though. I don't even know if I 
I stop a... Oh, second blind of you Sure, that's fine. Pretty sure I can deal with the second one. I guess maybe you can extort me to death, but I, I'm not thinking it's too likely. Well, that's kind of nice. Attack all... I actually think I just tap down this so I can get in for the damage. I do want to kill him eventually. Eight. It doesn't matter, he flies enough mana to cast anything anyway, but it might make my uh, spell pierce slightly more useful. Huh. Blind obedience? I actually think I'll let this resolve. I think that that is actually fine. He's going to drain me for two, but I don't, I don't really care. Three, but I wasn't going to get him under this turn anyway. Okay, seems fine. Hyphery nodes would kill his thing first, but it would slowly kill my things. Eh, I think I will spell pierce that one, because I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to spell pierce anyway. again, instead of locking down anything else, although I don't think it particularly matters. But I guess it could if he draws the right thing. I think the big one I'm worried about at this point is the uh, god. Just because that can produce lots of tokens for him if I leave Nykthos up, and I also can't counter it with Negate. That's pretty good though, he's at negative 7. So next turn, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think I just swing in for Let's see, he has something pretty good here. Okay. I will negate the Oblivion Ring. GG. Got there! Sweet! Well, that was a long, grindy game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrategy.